So I thought I'd bring the uh, Boys to Men series to Twitch for one night or for several nights, we will see. Uh, but I haven't really, I haven't really fallen in love with the uh, the uh, Doctor Love and Mister Keen series, partly because I I'm not sure that it that it works doing just one night one night a week, <laughs> and I'm I'm going to be honest, I'm really struggling with the the journeyman format. I when I play Football Manager, I tend to fall in love with the project, I want to go deep, I want to develop the club, I want to develop youngsters, I want to see the club grow. Uh, and with a journeyman you are supposed to sort of make yourself grow and that means that I really struggle to get attached to the actual club. I I mean I couldn't care less about Gent or Genk or whatever I, I am in Belgium because all I can think about is how quickly can I move to the next step on the ladder and that, I don't know if this sounds strange, but I don't enjoy playing the game that way. I enjoy the building process, I enjoy uh, being good at the game, I enjoy winning games, I enjoy doing it with one club. So I thought I'd bring... Uh, my YouTube series to to the Twitch channel to see if we can have a bit of fun with that one. <laughs> I can see why you like them, Lama. They are useful for people that get sacked frequently. Yes, and I have a feeling that if I'm going to keep this Doctor Love and Mister Keen save going, there will be frequent sackings as well. But tonight we will play the uh, Roma Poikana save. And we are in for a double header in the uh, in the uh, Euro Cup two or the Europa League conference, which is our first endeavours into Europe ever. So if you uh, if you are on schedule with the YouTube episodes, uh, then you are on schedule because I've only played one more game since then. We beat Kalmar one 0 at home, and in Europe we absolutely crushed Heracles Almelo. 3 0 and 4 1, and now we are playing all of them, who are ninth in the Norwegian Premier Division. So, this doesn't feel like the worst team to play. That's not what I wanted to do. They were predicted to finish 12th. And what did they do last season that got them? Okay, so they finished third last season, but have really been struggling this season. So, that, that feels good for us. Uh, even you beaten them, yeah. So they are. I couldn't be happier actually. Uh, and if we beat them, then things will get tougher. Uh, but let's take one thing at a time. Tonight it's all of soon time. And let's see here. We are going to confirm that squad. That's the good thing and beautiful thing about the Youth Academy save that we don't have to spend too much time looking at transfers in and out. Uh, player values, that's an interesting question. Let's look at them to see. Uh, player values. Okay, so the loan ins, let's ignore them. The highest valued player is Krabi 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 Krabs Krabi Krabi Krabs 1.4 million uh, and so four guys above 1 million and this has sort of skyrocketed the last two or three seasons I think since I got into the uh, uh, the Swedish Premier Division they have skyrocketed uh, they were around 400k before that yeah John Tete is a is a new gen. He came through the first youth intake. Uh, we can go through the squad. We have pure backup option, Davor Blazovic. And Andre Piconel is the number one keeper. He, uh, he was in the game when we started it. So he is a real youth player for, for Bromo Poikina. Uh, Defensively, we are have one, two, three, four, five, 
six guys who are former Bromo Poikana players, trained at Bromo Poikana, uh, came back from Swedish Premier Division side Sirius in 2022. We cannot play him. Look at that acceleration uh, and that pace. We cannot play him as a right back. So he is simply here just for the, uh, the atmosphere, I think. Jakob Unne Larsson is actually bringing something to the to the table. Uh, decent physicals, decent mentals for a defender, and 13 heading, 12 marking, 12, 13 tackling. Eric Figueroa he even sports the shirt. He is even slower. Four acceleration, five pace makes it impossible to play him. I'm trained, trying to get rid of him. But no one is interested in buying him, strangely enough. Then we have Axel Wallenborg, who his face seems to be slightly too small for his head. Uh, but he was there when the game started as well. Uh, merely a young pup as the game started. But he has played 20 or more games every season since then. And he's had average ratings of 7 or higher every season. Uh, Gabriel Salmer Magnusson was the captain when the game started and I think he was pretty much at his absolute prime when the game started uh, in 2020 and he hasn't become any better since then because he was like 27 or something uh, and since the club has gotten better and the players have, have gotten better he there's no room for him uh, and I cannot be nostalgic so Yeah, I've got a good selection. No really no really fantastic mentors, but a couple of decent ones. Yeah, I, I can see why you are lacking them because I'm allowed to do what you are not allowed to. I'm allowed to bring back former former players, not the ones I have I have seen through, but even former players than that. Uh Hannes Gummerson is one of the rare few players that are actually signed from another club at the age of sixteen. I am allowed to sign Jambo. Thank you, my lovely friend, for the sub. Keep up the good work, you lovely sweet. Thank you very much. And today we are in Sweden playing. So this is one of the players I signed. I, I am allowed to sign under 17 players to the academy if they are 17 or younger, which is very much like it works in real life. So Hannes Gummerson is one of them. He came through from Vossalund like three or four seasons ago. He is he's actually okay. Uh, the main reason that I promoted him is that he's too old to play for the under 19, so the reserves are absolutely crap. Uh, you're down to two players over 21. Oh wow, so you are really young. Jonathan Augustinsson is the latest player I brought in, and he also has an older brother that I really, really want to bring in, but he is not interested in coming. Uh, good evening, Jambo. And this one is class. Very nice physicals. Uh, he's decent defensively, decent going forward. Can be used as a left back, can be used as a central defender. So I really like him. Thomas Isherwood, uh, he made quite a journey. Went from Bromo Poikina to Bayern Munich, didn't cut it there, went to Bradford, didn't cut it there, went back to Sweden, played for Östersund. In real life, and then you go in this game, and then he came back to Bromo Poikina. He is 27, so he's at a good age, and I <sighs> he's not fantastic, he's he's decent. Hello, Breeze, welcome to the stream. Tonight, we are playing football manager. Uh, you've just watched Luxembourg beat Ireland. Oh, wow. Uh, do you mean you mean Kanga? We can look at him in a in a second, Loma. So Luke Lucas Browning Lagerfeld. It's another one of those. He went to Twente, I think. Yeah, he went early on to Twente, and then he went to Örgryte in Sweden when he wasn't good enough to play in Holland, and now he's back. But only a backup option. Then we are getting into to new gen, new gen territory. Victor Carlson is our PC. But kind of useless right back. This is one of the players. When I played with a wingless formation, I tried to 
retrain him from winger to wing back and he hasn't really gotten good enough defensively bravery one tackling six mm. uh, and from midfield and forward things are getting better Jakob Eklund lacks a bit of technical abilities lacks a bit of defending but he is one of our good youth intake players and Isaac Holm is one of the better youth intake players from the recent youth intakes. Lacks a bit of aggression. But nice acceleration, nice passing, okay-ish tackling and positioning. We can work on that, but he's a good central defense midfielder. Uh, yeah, the uh, you can train bravery uh, here. If you choose additional focus and uh, choose aerial, you train heading and bravery, Lama. Uh, but it's a bit the same as with flair. It's one tough, uh, one tough attribute to actually improve. Uh, Hubs Findel is another one of those who who is from the Bromoborgen Academy. More of a creative one. We've used him quite a lot. He's only 25. Uh, Jakob Ottmark, another one of those who we brought back, but all the guys we brought back, uh, they are mainly backup options now. Because the real guys, they are, the, the new gents are becoming too good. So this is the best new gen we've had come through. Marcus Hallgren, he is back on loan because we sold him to Dortmund. No, none of the training regimes uh, work on bravery. You have to do it through uh, individual training. Uh, so this is the best new gen we've had come through. Look at those mentals. Decisions, leadership of the ball, teamwork and vision. 16 or higher. Good dribbling, good first touch, good passing, good technique. Uh, Mike and Passion is one, another one of those who we signed from another local club, actually my local club in real life, Herbert, uh, and he is okay. Yeah, she turned 19, so we promoted him. You're retting us egg when you look at Halgen. Yeah, I know, all that green. And Paulus Abraham, in real life, he was sold from Bromapoikena to Aiko, and then he has moved on. Uh, is the Sealand face pack a huge file to say more? Yeah, it's a huge file. It's a it's a huge file. Uh, and I've had a bit of issues with them when you try to import new faces. If you don't, if you're not meticulous, then it's very easy to sort of overwrite uh, the old pictures, and then you, you have no way of retrieving them. So uh, it's a bit of a ball ache, but yeah. Uh, Kalle Andersson is another one of those new gents who is really, I'm really uh, keen on. And the final one I can show you is the club's best goal scorer ever. He might look a bit inconspicuous, but he has all the good attributes in all the right places. Dribbling 14, finishing 15, first touch 14, heading 16, technique 13. So those are the technical abilities above 10. Mentals, anticipation, composure, decisions, flare of the ball vision. So he is one great central, central attacker. So he scored loads of goals. Which makes him the best goal scorer ever for us. Uh, and Lom, I wanted to see about Jardel Kanga. He is at Bayern Munich 2. This is what he's looking like. He's 19 years old now. He's played nine, 16 caps for Sweden. 13 and 21 caps. I mean, he, he he's a good player, but I'm not falling off my share. But then now I have to remind myself that he's only 19 and he isn't playing too much. He's wanted by Liu. We sold him. Hmm. I don't know why I cannot see. 
So for some reason we can only see this season's career stats for him. Very odd. Uh, but we sold him to Malmö and then he moved on from there. We are not loaning him out. Okay, so we are on our way into the second round of qualifiers against Wollaston in the Europa League Conference. I'm not going to make any changes. They are playing 4-4-2. Of course, they are, they are Norwegian. This is the team we are going with. We are not making any changes now. I'm keeping Paulus Abraham on the bench. So Piconel, not too much to talk about there. Wallenborg out on the left. Augustinsson together with Juna Larsson. Experienced, versatile central defender pair. Then we have Pacey Useless, Victor Carlson out on the right simply because we do not have any less useless right backs. We are playing, I'm switching these guys around. Isaac Holm as the ball winning midfielder. He has tackling of 9 and positioning of 8 which makes us slightly vulnerable in that position. But I want to play Eklund as the supporting central mid. Marcus Hallgren plays in behind Krebi 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 Krebs. Vision 18, passing 13, flat 13, off the ball 17. Will do him a world of good, I think. Out on the right, we go with John Tete. Acceleration 12. Dribbling 14, first touch 14, passing 10, off the ball 11, flat 14. Hopefully he can do the business for us. And out on the left we play young Kalle Andersson. Acceleration 15. Dribbling 14. Technique 17. <laughs> when does the Champions League winners of Mlama versus Mikkel in the FM happen? Yeah, we will see. Uh, there's quite, <laughs> quite a distance left before I get there at least. Uh, so, Krebi, 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 Krebs up front. Anyone from the bench we should move in? Uh, no, not really. Isherwood, maybe? Isherwood. Okay, so that's what we are going with. And we are starting the game against ninth placed Orlesun. And we are we are at home. We are at home. And nothing's happening. It doesn't look like home. Maybe I'm mistaken. Is this what our what our stadium looks like? I thought we had red seats and I haven't even been drinking tonight. Hmm. Can I see anywhere where we're actually playing? Maybe this is our home stadium. I'm not sure why we wouldn't be. The short corners are looking slick. Yeah, we are trying to get the short corners to work. And I'm going to stop thinking about where we are playing and just focus on the game. So here we go, movement forward. There we go, move the back in, ball in centrally again. There we go, and they are parking the bus. Or moving the freight carrier into the Suez Canal, as you say nowadays. I'm not sure if my home stadium is too small for European ties. I need to check that because this one doesn't seem that much bigger. So we will check after the game what's what's up. You can save that one. Quick. Oh, that's nice. Tete is through. We go one nil up. 
Andrea Piconel with a brilliant assist. That was quick. Perceptive, perceptive of him. Up to Tete is all alone. Makes no mistake. Near post, pow. So can we keep a clean sheet at home? And maybe one more goal from us, then that would make me very happy. That would mean that we we have a very good position to move forward. Uh, has European football helped with play development? Uh, nothing I have noticed so far, but we've only played two European games uh, before this one, so I, I'm not sure that it's had too much of an impact. Well, I will let you know once we've played an entire season, and hopefully there will be several several European games this season. I'm aiming for. I want to reach the uh, the group stage in this Europa League conference, which I don't think I don't think it's impossible, uh, and I actually don't think it's highly unrealistic. I think it's a realistic possibility because we can and should be teams of this caliber, and of course there are better teams. Uh, there are better teams in the tournament, uh, but we have beaten better teams like like Sparta Prague and, and teams like that. We've beaten those in, in the preseason friendlies, and I know that preseason friendlies are preseason friendlies, uh, but I think we're in with a chance. And as I am rambling away, they make it 1 1. Sloppy defending from us. Sloppy defending from Victor Carlson. Yeah, okay, so he cannot defend. So that's that's on me. That one's on me. Uh, it's not on him because I knew that he couldn't defend. He's just in there to run quickly. So a disappointing end to the first half. And of course I'm going to tell the players that. I'm not happy. So this is much, much, much worse than that one near Leeds we had earlier on when I was dreaming of another goal and keeping a clean sheet. Now tables are turned. They are they are in the driver's seat. An away goal in Europe could prove very important. But I also have a feeling that they will open up slightly at home. And I think we can capitalize on that. And this game is not over. This game is far from over. Moving the board around nicely out into the corridor, moving in again. Can we? There we go. And now what? So a good chance. I don't think we can afford to squander them. But at least we've been the better team if we look at the entire game so far. Oh. <laughs> Hits the bar. Tete's been good. That has been our main threat this game. Oh, lovely save from Vestas. Now we are cranking up the volume, cranking up the pressure. Short corner. There we go. Fire it in. Oh, was that a save or was it another shot in the uh, bar? I'm not sure. At least it didn't go in. Here we come again. Another corner. So these short corner routines are starting to look decent. They're not marking anyone out there. What can we do? Side. That's sloppy. So 1.76 xg versus theirs. What was it? 0 0.2 or something. Nice playing, but far from clinical finishes. I wish I had an emper, an emper up front. A massive lad. So, okay, trying to shoot the head off their defender. Wish I had a massive guy up front, maybe an Ibrahimovic. If he would have been a BP product, I would have gone for him any day, every day. <laughs> I need a big lump. 
I do have a big lump. I have Levis Kiflesis, but I didn't bring him with me today, which might prove a mistake. I could pull him out for the uh, the away leg though. I have Tete though. Oh, another save. <laughs> John Carew. Yeah. I don't think they are really understanding our short corner routine because they are not bringing men out to counter it. <laughs> or maybe they've come to the conclusion that this is not dangerous at all. Now they move their men away. Ooh, that is that is one sexy combination. Sam Cosgrove. Uh, so if we just pause here, look at the numbers. 21 shots, 13 on target, 2.51 xG. I mean, I don't want to change anything here. We already have an atta attacking mentality. The only thing I want to do is to bring in a couple of fresh legs. Tete is tight. He's been very good though, so we're going to keep him. But we're going to get Paulos Abraham in instead of Kana Andersson. And any more changes? Ooh. We could bring this guy in. No. We could bring Hampus Vindel in as well. I think we're going to go for that. Get him in instead of is a call but switch these guys around okay so 20 minutes left i am gonna i'm gonna shout I'm gonna shout i'm gonna encourage them come on come on lads do it better you are beautiful rocker responds brilliantly to that shout immediately he scores Brilliant finish. Eklund, Isidin, and we are two on up. And can we go three one up? That would make me immensely happy. Krabi, 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 Krabi. 3-1, very good, very good ball from Harlan Gideon, was it? Not the best from their keeper, Tete finds Harlan Gideon, pow, Karebi picks it down and scores 3-1, and we have a final substitution to make. I am going to get Harlan Gideon off so nothing happens to him. So 3-1, that almost feels as good as a 2-0 win, almost. And the good thing about this week is that we don't have a league game in between these two legs, so we are playing all of a sudden straight away, or well, not straight away, we have a week of training and resting before that game, so we don't have to rotate or, or do other stupid stuff. I'm talking about stupid stuff, we almost gave the ball away. Can we create one more chance here? Can there be two ones on? That was stupid, absolutely awful finish. So the game must be over. No goals. Does it stand? Oh. It stands. <laughs> okay, so our defense, not the best of games, not the best of games, really. We have to look at that one more time. Perfectly time run, uh, but absolutely atrocious defending. So 3 2 is very, very much worse than 3 1. <laughs> okay, so we need to bring at least our attacking prowess to the next game. So we win, even though both of their 
goals felt very unnecessary. XG of 3.17 for us, 0.79 for them. And their final shot on goal stood for more than half of their XG. Oh, but we will be back for the next Odison game straight away. Any other cool results? Aberdeen, they beat Anderlecht 1-0. Celtic beat Astra Georgiou. Uh, uh, Midtjylland beat Finn Harps. Pibs lost to Gilavava. They can come back at home, can't they? Oracle 1, we don't like to see that. It could be good for the coefficient in Sweden though if they survive a little longer. Even though they are fierce rivals to us. Spartak Moscow is in there, so there are actually a couple of decent teams. Apuel is another decent team. Another Hibernian team. Ludogorets. <laughs> we don't even know what in Europe virtually. Why is there another Hibernian? Okay. But you have one game to turn that around, Jambo. So a week to the next Olesund game. And I am not sure how far away we are from an actual youth intake. We we did have an intake preview. I think I can show you the intake preview. Can I not? Yeah, this is the one. Terrific group of players. Potential to be a real golden generation for the club. Uh, that could literally mean anything. It usually only means that a certain number of players is above a certain CA or PA threshold. But for us, it has meant that every time we've had that we've had at least one player with four and a half star potential so at least one good center back two forwards uh, so could we have that uh, that would be good no defensive midfielders we have too many of them which is good no new wing backs which is bad uh, most central midfielders don't look like they'll ever be good enough uh, so okay so a central defender which we very much need and strikers which we don't need just as much but always makes me excited so we will see once the uh, the intake actually gets here I am contemplating replacing this guy Matthias Moström the only problem is that the way that this youth challenge is set up I cannot go uh, go scouting for a new head of youth development i need to put out an ad and in order to put out an ad i would need to sack him uh, and i'm not sure if there are any better out there so uh, at least i get a suggestion of a really really good one then i'm keeping this one uh, when you started this you were, you were hopeful of getting three to four good plays through each intake no expectations one yeah i'm the same if I get a youth intake where I have two players who I can see be good enough for the first team in sort of three or four or five seasons, then I, I'm, I'm satisfied. Uh, so I think my actual first youth intake where I have, let's look at the players I have now. So in this team, we have from the first youth intake, John Tete, Jakob Eklund, uh, Marcus Hallgren, and big man Levis Keflesus. And then we also have Gustav Buhmann, who we sold to Milan. And he is one of the guys who actually lost his, uh, lost his face uh, in, 
uh, in a Nugent face pack swap deal. So, but he has been sold to Milan, so he shouldn't be too sad. And I'm not sure why the player histories aren't showing anymore. Must be a glitch in the game, uh, but never mind. I think the driven personality has variable professional. Uh, yeah. So driven, uh, I'm just going to see, I have a list of them, uh, so driven has uh, a professionalism of anything, uh, what driven tells us is that the determination is between 18 and 20 and ambition between 12 and 20, so we know nothing about his professionalism. And professionalism, ambition, and determination are the three uh, the three main factors when it comes to player development. So we can check two out of the three boxes, and that is by far the best we we've been able to do so far. Uh, while this is loading, I'm just quickly going to go and grab a drink, and I'll be right back. Uh, Neil says, I think you guys have done great with what you've had. Yeah, I think we both have. Uh, I didn't think it would go this well uh, this soon, actually. Even though I had the advantage of having a great youth set up from the beginning, but I had the disadvantage of maybe the grumpiest board I've ever I've ever encountered. They have not accepted a single one of my attempts to increase our facilities. Uh, our facilities they look like like this so we have excellent academy coaching uh, so let's start in this and we have exceptional youth recruitment which uh, is a main factor when it comes to getting pre pre intake players in or juniors as they call it in the game and juniors are the the guys who are there in the background but they don't become visible to you until you have the, uh, the youth intake. And junior coaching, that is the level of coaches for the junior players. But then you have youth facilities, which is shit for us. And that's the facilities that the pre-intake players train at before they come through the youth, youth intake. So the youth facilities and the junior coaching, that determines how high the current and potential ability of the players will be. So I want to increase youth facilities, but the board just keeps saying no. And now we need to check where we actually played our last game. Were we at home? Were we supposed to be Borsta? For some very strange reason, we are not playing our games at home. We were playing in Södertälje instead. I, I didn't recognize the ground, I told you, but that one is actually smaller than the one we have and here we play at home let's look at the ground competitions euro cup 2 league path first qualifying round second qualifying round and then what let's look at the uh, the rules then the rules must be changing here stadiums no rules so does it say anything about minimum stadium seating capacity 8,000? Okay, and we don't have that, uh, but we don't have that where we are playing at the moment either. We are there at the moment. What are those rules then? 
minimum stadium seating capacity of 1500 terracing is not permitted in stadiums okay so we have terracing that's why we are not allowed to play at home uh, i bet we started there i i don't know i don't know about these rules they don't make sense to me i only know that we are not playing at home when we are playing at home and that is a disadvantage to us so the under 19s they lead their their premier division we have two regional premier divisions in sweden for the under 19s the north and the south And they're leading less, which is good. Hopefully, racing the ref playing in Europe will help. Yeah, I, I hope so too. And we do have, we too have a bit of money at our disposal. Not too much. About 3.3 million. Let's make another board request. See, can we do facilities? Improve youth facilities. They will let us know shortly. Do we want to do anything else? Can we build a new stadium? No, not with 3 million in the bank. Even though we are filling the stadium nowadays, we used to play for 500 people, but now on a good home game, we fill our 7,500 capacity, which is good. Okay, so I complained and they accepted for the first time ever. Please announce that our plans are in place to improve the club's youth facilities. This upgrade is expected to cost in the region of 825k. Construction will begin at the end of the season and will be completed by November 2025. That is excellent. So 17 days it will take them. They are feeling the pressure, which is lovely. In order for our youth place to progress, they need better facilities. Therefore, we will shortly action this request. Thank you. And the reserves won 7 0 for them. Uh, in the youth team, do we have anyone decent to show you? Yes, we do have three decent guys. First of all, we have Victory Wanson. Who is a 16 year old striker? And uh, then we have Albin Lorenzon, who is a central midfielder. Decent mentals, aggression, bravery, determination, but also coupled with at least okayish technique. It needs to work on his passing, that's okay tackling. So it's sort of a two way, two way central midfielder. And also Johan Svensson, who has a massive potential ability, but is struggling to, to really improve. Determination 17 should be getting better, but he really isn't. So these are the most interesting ones from the under 90s. And how's everyone's week been? Have you had a good week? Are you looking forward to the next week? Or what's the situation for you? We actually have, I'm working Monday through Thursday next week, and then I'm off from Friday for a week uh, for a bit of Easter holiday, which will be nice. Mental. This week's been mental, or next week, or, or is everything mental? Neat? We will, we want to sell him. We want to get rid of him. If you have a speed of four, then I would very much like to get rid of him. Actually, Eric Figueroa. 
transfer operative clubs zero oh the house move is going on now cool so have you so is it actually moving on or do you have a set date when it's supposed to happen or what's the what's the actual status for you it's really cool though to hear that things are progressing we've been talking about expanding our home here for for a year now but isn't happening too much so let's get rid of him okay so you are really you're really on the move now that's good to hear hope that it will go good and easy for you loads of place to loan out for a while sure couldn't there have been an easier way to do this than having me click on everyone uh, we would like to bring him home that would be brilliant. I don't think he is too interested in coming home. Dan Kulusevsky, the best player that has come through the BP Academy in several seasons. Just moved into parents, went up to Scotland last week, going to and are going to buy new build. Cool. Ready April May. Very nice sounds like things are moving in the absolute right direction for you which makes me very happy so Beko Heck yeah yeah we have rejected that one we're keeping him keeping him speculation persists that Krebi 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 Krebs could be leaving Grimstar I can respond he is not leaving I have no intention of selling sure and the only players I loan out are the ones who I mistakenly promised that when I signed contracts for them, or the ones that I've already given up on. Uh, I don't loan out players that I really care about because I want them to stay. So I can control their, their development, control their individual training, control how much they play, etc. etc. Unless I could loan out, loan them out to somewhere where they uh, uh, with much better facilities than us, but that usually doesn't happen, and they just sign the player. So Malmö F makes loan approach for Holm. No. So everyone's coming in for Magnus Johansson, which is an 18 year old, looks slightly older in that picture. He's quick, he's decent on the head. Okay, passing, okay, technique, okay, work rate. Right. Let's see if any late offers comes in. That will sell. Okay, getting close to the deadline, and we can move on to the actual Orlesund game. Deadline has passed. Any big signings or sales? Benjamin Leominson from I Court to Chelsea. Hard to tell how good he is. For some reason, the histories are broken. Simon Boos. Ombu to you've got the boy to Genoa. Okay. Well, I really tried to sell him. No one was interested. 
blah 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 uh, suitable teams yes yeah i like when the opponents lose the best as well so this is what the lead table looks like it's not the prettiest of sites we we are really slip, slipped off we were we were in the running there for a while but we really slipped off uh when you look at this lead form it's not been too good it's been patchy uh best so we won in the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven in the last eleven games we've won two and that makes it tough to to keep up with the uh, with the best teams in the league but we uh, i lost count of how, how many games we've been the better team but we are really struggling to score so remarkable improvements from Cal Anderson make me happy We will see here. No need to make too many changes. Uh, Valenborn is suspended, so we need to bring in someone, and that someone is that someone is Augustinson. And except for that, I don't think we are making changes, are we? Le Levis Keflesus could be coming in. Yes, he is coming in. In case we need a big man, 195 centimeters. Except for that, I am pleased with this. Isherwood, Pulse Fitness Test, yeah, then he can play. Okay, so this game is off and they have the ball. Let's see if we can make stuff happen, happen tonight. Keep our European dream, dream alive. I sure hope so. I really, really hope so. Here we come through Tete. Oh, they get the ball away. If the game is going to be anything like the first game at our home ground, then I, I think we will win this. One out, John Tate, eight minutes in. Thank you for the music. Bruno Larsson to Holm out onto the flank, moving it back in, and there he is, makes no mistake. Heads it in, and we are getting close to the next round, very close. They get the ball away though. Can the Anderson Eklund? Ah, no. Neil is asking: Is uh, is Abraham practicing penalties? Yeah, he doesn't have to because he's been taken off penalty duty. He's not going to take a single penalty more. So we can we can utilize other guys that if you miss two consecutive penalties then you are off penalty duty. Two 
Antonio and I was going to say that the cat is out of the bag but I think this game is in the bag am I happy with the tactic yeah I I, I think I am it's more consistent than the other one it's uh, it's looking uh, it's looking more looking more like the football I want to play even though the difference is maybe kind of slight but I'm happy So can we really humiliate them? Here we come again, Krabi. Krabi. I was certain that one had gone in. I'm not sure how he missed that one. But they are. They are not turning up, are they? Paul Carlson. Can I be? Uh, we are keeping it. We are keeping it. They haven't had a single thing so far. <sighs> oh, so we are running all over them. They've had one shot, none on target. We've had six shots, two on target so far. We scored both of them, so that's good efficiency. Uh, and if we give the ball away like that, then this could turn into a game. But we win it back straight away. Pass it around. I hate when you pass it back to the keeper and he just hoofs it up. Keep it on the ground. Halgrim, what now? Oh, what a perfectly timed run. What a lovely run. What a pass. 3 nil up. Yes, Neil, I am happy with this tactic. Look at that combination play. Tate Carlson, Halgen gets it, looks up, and wow, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it was intended for Anderson, but it makes it absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I am talking about the the uh, Llama primary tactic. Hoof the ball up, send it back to the keeper, and hoof it up. Yeah, that was actually lovely, and that is what I want the play to look like, the pattern. So that's a lovely short corner routine, and we are 4 nil up away against Olesund, and we are still in the first half. That is one sexy corner routine. And a central defender is there in the box and scores from a shot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call this one in the bag. And we start the second half. And after one big half, you usually have a very drab half. We're gonna call it. Are we gonna win this one four two? That's usually what happens. Either nothing happens, or the other team kind of claws back. So I think we are going to move Krebi. It's going to come off and I'm going to come off. We're going to save these guys so so they don't get injured. They are our two most important players, I think. So we're going to we're going to sub them off to prevent them getting injured. Yeah, like I said, there they get one goal back. Score this Ulla group. We proceed. And I call it four two. Let's see if that comes true or what happens. Oh. Nice save from this, this, their keeper. Pass the ball around with a bit of tempo, but still nice. Okay, offside. 
So we are dominating them in this game as well. Clearly the better team. Which is nice when it pays off eight one. <laughs> yeah, you would you and your mum, you would love that, wouldn't you? I know what your mum thinks, Neil. Seven games at least every game. A full one away would make me really, really happy because this is not like it's a team from Malta or anything. This is actually a decent Norwegian top tier team, pretty similar to ourselves. So, a big win here is good. <sighs> I'm yawning a lot. I'm sorry about that. I really don't know why I'm not that tired. Oh, another beautiful finish. Tete to Kiplesas this time. I really love those cheeky through balls into the box. Look at that. He looks up, uses that. Oh, what, what a pass. What a pass. What a beautiful pass. Like a knife through hot butter. Just cut straight through. And we're making one final sub. Who do we want to spare? Who do we want to spare? Let's take off complacent Jakob Eklund. Ten minutes left, leading five to one away, and I can't do anything else than smile. Tete, oh, they get the ball away. Oh, okay, nice finish from Piconel. Gets the ball away. Castro. And this game is almost over. They looked a little better towards the end, but then the game was all over. So the players just run around applauding now, and I'll applaud them as well. 5 1, 8 3 in total. I'm happy. And let's see who we get now. Now things will get tougher, I think. Won't they? Oh, I forgot to check how Hibernians did. Hello, Don Pap. Welcome to the stream. We are we are playing in Europe. We beat Olesund by one way. Uh, no German anymore. No. Uh, I was talking about this earlier on. I had a a Twitter poll uh, out before the stream tonight. I don't know how to put it really. I I don't love the uh, the Doctor Love and Mister Keen save for several reasons. One being that I don't think it's very it's not perfectly suited to do once a week because the the progression is too slow. Uh, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> more times per week because I want to play other games as well. I really enjoyed the uh, college football and the uh, the pro football games. Uh, and I'm not loving the journeyman concept. I'm really struggling to to get into the journeyman mood. I tend to fall in love with a project or a club or or, a, or an idea or something that I want to create, like I'm doing here with with Bruno Poikena. Uh, and that makes me really struggle to to feel attached to to a club in a journeyman say all i can think about is how i can climb from that club as quickly as possible uh, so tonight we are just feeling how it feels to play this bit point can i say and then we'll see where we go i have not killed off the the uh, the dr love and mr king say i'm just taking a break from it tonight we'll see if it comes back or or if we do something else or what we do uh 
but the poll suggested that this what we do tonight and I've really enjoyed myself so far. We have played a double header against Olesund and we beat them 8-3 in total which was more than I could hope for. Ayako go through as well. Aberdeen go through against Anderlecht, bit of an upset. Bode Glimt go through, Celtic through. What about Hibernian? What about Hibernian? Hibernian go through. Jambo 3-0 against Gilava. 3-1 in total. Krasnodar. Maccabi. So a couple of decent teams here. And Red Star there as well. So a couple of decent teams in here. Maybe more decent teams will come. So okay. So we will play Celtic. Ooh. In the fourth qualifying round. We play Celtic. Uh, this will be. Uh, This will be tough. 21st of August. Okay, so they are shit, aren't they? So, okay, we have Jugurin at home, Celtic at home, Elspoy at home, and Jugurin, they are third, and then a tough game against Celtic, then Elspoy, who are 10th, and then a tough game against Celtic. So we need to pick a pace if we are going to do them uh, before the end of the night. And maybe we'll have a youth intake as well. So if I could dream, I would dream of four wins, two games, two wins in the lead to propel us up the table. And two wins in Europe to send us into the group stage. That would be absolutely brilliant. Is that really too much to ask for? I think not. That seems very reasonable. Let's praise him without having any idea of how well he trains. And home derby against rivals you go down how was work on pap you can come in whenever you feel like it was it was it a hectic hectic shift relaxed and then suddenly hectic right before we were supposed to finish okay yeah that's classic isn't it you start to think that this is going to be smooth sailing all the way through and then it just hits you so the under 19 win again Yeah, it does hit you in the face. Okay, so this is the league table. We would really need to win against Jugurin today to sort of close the gap because the gap is growing and it's growing quickly. We are very quickly turning into a middle of the pack club and I am starting to acquire a taste for Europe. So we will need to really step up to actually reach Europe. We have been crap in the league. Okay, did we get any help from any teams? Not really, did we? What does this mean? Latest one, okay. So, no real changes except the fact that we are letting Abraham play. We are going to. Bring Valenboy in. And that's 
basically it I think we're only making these changes two wins and I'm up at sixth yeah exactly but sixth isn't good enough we will probably need to finish top three to get into Europe so we will need to jump on the train before it leaves the station and this is one of the last train wagons so we need to catch that now and absolutely a whole bunch of nothing happening in the beginning we are in black ish black and red they are in red and here they come silver halt nice individual moves there this is a runaway train yeah and we want to catch it before it gets too far ahead of us Oh, and a whole bunch of nothing happening. Chance for them. Or is it? Yes, it appears that way. Who will actually have the highlight? I have a feeling it's going to be their highlight because we have not been good so far. Or oh, can we turn around here? Abraham. Tate. It's going to smash through the station. <laughs> we, we will see. <laughs> we will see what actually happens. So far, the train is crushing us. Or at least we are struggling to catch that final wagon. Here they come. Oh, oh what a save from Piccolo. What a save. Don't have the board back to the corner taker. Another corner for them. And the Lotion gets the ball away. And can we create anything here on the break? Can it be? Oh, you're not allowed to do that. That must be a yellow card. No, nope, apparently not. It felt like a yellow card all the way. But maybe the keeper is supporting their way team. Who knows? It will be bumper right with youth intake saves. Yeah. You very much rely on, on the, the youth intakes and the quality of the youth intakes. So, yes, you do. Parking the train. Yeah. And I was blessed with a really good one in the first youth intake. And I'm sort of. <laughs> I've been riding that wave ever since. But none of the other youth intakes have been anywhere near as good, which is troubling me because soon we will be out of good players. Uh, there are not so many coming in from coming up from from underneath. So we have been struggling to create decent chances. Here's a corner for them. Understand? Get the ball away. I was going to say, and they make it one 0 Oh. I'm not sure why we are this poor in the league this season. Praying for, praying for a right back. Yeah, me too, but it doesn't appear that way in the uh, youth intake preview, did it? What to do here? Yeah, I can sign under 17s from the Stockholm area. But the only problem is that there aren't too many good ones coming through. So I think I've signed like five in total in the first five seasons and one or two of them have become good enough to actually make it into the first team. Which is very realistic and that's exactly the way I want it to be. But uh, uh, come on, come on. Yes. What a brilliant sub. Uh, that's where I want to do. So I, I pretty much have to rely on the youth intakes. A lovely ball. 
clean finish clean calm finish we are back into this one could i hope and pray for a win or is that too much to ask for because i mean a, a draw it won't help us at all the top teams will just get further away from us so i'd like to keep gambling to see if we can get a win uh, and that might cause us to lose but there's no real reason to sort of defend this uh, this draw Abraham Another shot. Can you create magic again, son? No, not with finishes like that. Then you cannot create magic. Yeah, yeah, win it, win it. Here they come. Move men into the box. This feels dangerous. They keep it. Ah. And hit, hit them on the break. Come on, come on. Come on. Passing the ball around, what will happen? This could still turn into a highlight for them. One the more to Findel. Ah, disappointment end to that highlight. Uh, let's make a change here then. Uh, let's get Browning, Torlog, Feldin. Switch for others in there. Okay. Free kick, Findel. Oh, getting that final 10 minutes. Can we make one final push to see if, if, oh, lovely save from Piccolo. If we can steal a win here. Corner, short routine. Oh, I was really sure that one was going in, but it didn't. Another cheeky short corner, maybe. That's probably the worst short corner we've had so far. Oh, chance for them. Loads of chances. Both ends. Here we come. Two versus three. Three, four, five, six men moving forward. Krebby, Krebby. Oh, yeah, that's what you call cheeky. Oh, defense, defense, where are you? Come on, Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, Krebs, Kirby, Krebs, Kirby, Krebs. The goal scorer gets a yellow card. Can we create anything from this? At least it's a highlight. Pindel. Oh, crap. Absolutely crap chance for them or a chance for us to counter one two three four men forward like little ants they are running towards the goal and here they come instead oh. corner for them that really feels like a make or break moment in this season on the Sean Yes, Krebby with him. Come on, come on. No. They are literally two, two guys all alone with the keeper and they cannot put the ball in. Oh.
Browning, now what? Now what? Now what? Okay, so we've had some prime chances in the final minutes of the game, but this is literally what the last 10 or 12 league games have looked like. We create chances, but we are really struggling to put the ball in behind the keeper. This ends 1 1. I'm going to admit that you wouldn't were the better team for the first 70 minutes, but then we took over. Oh, disappointing, and this isn't good for the league table. So we are 8th. A win in the next game could probably propel us into 6th. Uh, I'm all good tonight, Don Pep. Thanks for asking. I'm all good. I'm I'm enjoying life. I've had a good day. Okay, offer a new contract. We could do that. Okay, so now Celtic at home, away from home. In a couple of days, we are gonna we're gonna give them a rest. We're gonna rest them for a day. Rest them for a day, and hopefully we can get a decent result at home against Celtic. It would be awesome if we could make it into Europe. And uh, I'm a bit embarrassed, but I don't know if this is the final game in the qualification stage or if there are more games. Let's let's find that out. Fourth qualifying round, league path, fourth qualifying round. So we reach the group stage if we if we make it through this one. So makey or breaky games against Celtic. So we also have Celtic and Sport and Celtic. And these are the three more games we're going to do this stream. So at the end of this stream, we will know if it ends in utter devastation or if we reach the group stage of the third biggest European Cup. And maybe we'll have a youth intake as well. I think it's... Maybe it's too soon still. It might be too soon still. I'm not sure. Could happen any time around here, I think. But, yeah, yeah, Llama. I, now Llama is getting technical and pointing out that it's the third biggest European tournament out of three. Yes, I know. But I think that is being overly technical. Really technical. Yeah. At least it's Europe. At least it is Europe. And we are not making any changes to the squad. Are they even pro promoting him forth? Yeah. Soon it's going to mean nothing to be in Europe. Okay, so Roma Poikina versus Celtic. Team selection. Any changes? We get Kalle Andersson back in. Except for him, what does the actual team look like? We are getting Augustinsson in instead of Ishiwood, and except for that, I don't think we are making any changes. This is the best team we could play out there, and wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. 
Jag kan ja. Alleborg. Let's say moves the ball to Krabs. Come on. Decent start. Yep, trying the short corner routine here as well. They don't fall for it, not straight away at least. Give us a couple of more corners and then we'll see. <laughs> I agree with you, Don Pap. It's going to be great in the future when every team except for the relegated ones qualify for Europe. Okay, so I think Celtic is slightly surprised by the quality of our team. I think they were going to see this as more or less a walk in the park. Uh, and so far we've been the better team, even though we've only played nine minutes. And please, God or Football Manager, make this a highlight for us. Can't say with it, find someone in front of you. Ah, wants to go all the way himself, the selfish bastard. And that's the reason the result is still from a point in a nil. Celtic nil. Tete! Celtic's arrogance will trip them up. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Free kick. Hits the outside of the post. Thank you. Connell with an Arsenal on a boy. Now then, we have men forward. Tete. Tete's been selfish and kind of crappy so far. Euro silver or <laughs> all teams playing the second tier in there respectively. Yeah, would mean a lot. Yeah, Celtic are used to buying the the competitors' best players. But we are not selling. We we are selling all our players to Dortmund, so we don't have anyone left to sell to Celtic. Maybe. Also, hold. Moving the ball around nicely, and then what? Ah, the evil giants of Scotland. Yeah, indeed. Don't pap. Is there an evil giant uh, equivalent in Norway? Would that be Rosenborg? At least previously it was, wasn't it? I don't know, is there really an even evil giant in, in Norwegian football? There isn't an even evil giant in Swedish football because there's so much prestige that you don't want to sell your prime talent to another Swedish club, so you rather sell them abroad, maybe for a little less money. But Malmö is of course the biggest club in, in Sweden, but it's not like they uh, like they automatically get all the prime talent. Yeah, that's what I was talking about on Pap. Nowadays, there's really no, no evil giants, right? Stealing all the prime talent in Norway either. So almost one half in, still nil nil. And considering we've been the better team, this feels kind of unfair. But here they come. Oh, pinball action there. Almost caused us a goal. See? Good. Can we start out? There's a lot of free space over here. Now what? Krevi. Krabby, krabby, krab, krabby, krab, krabby, krab, krabby, krabby, krab. One in love. 
Who else? Kerebi. Tet Kerebi to Tete, back to Kerebi. Makes no mistake. He is absolutely lethal when he gets those sort of chances. And I feel good. Down, well, well, well. I knew that I would. Down, well, well, well. Are they going to retaliate immediately? Will I not be allowed to be happy for more than a couple of seasons? Nice save there on the blaze shot. It was side. Mulder was a more bought quite many the last few years, yeah. Kribi! <sighs> Bad finish. Bad dog. Bad. Yeah, go to Tete. Hard to get in. Krabi. Okay, so the stats paint a clear picture. We are crushing them. Stats wise, it's only one goal margin. I'm not happy with that. Let's let's tear them a new one so that we don't have to go to Celtic Park and be afraid. To take, can we create anything straight away? Cheeky short corner routine, maybe? Maybe? Yes? Yes? And maybe we need to work on the a few more passes and try to smash them to pieces. Typical Celtic in Europe. You might be right, Bronx Bills up. And I would be very pleased to come away from this double header with with a group stage ticket. How are you, Bruce Bielsa? Have you had a good end to this week? Augustine Son. Our players starting to look tired. Oh, not not yet, but we're still going to get Algerian off and Valenboy off. So making more, two more precautiously uh, precautious uh, subs there. Well, that's profu profusely for your tardy appearance. <laughs> you are welcome anytime, any day, whenever you feel like it. Save from people now. So we haven't played that much. We we uh, beat Olesund from Norway in the previous round, emphatically, uh, and then we drew at home to you, Gordano, in a disappointing fashion. And now we are we are bottling this lead against Celtic. Maybe uh, decent end of the work week. Yeah, it was a decent end of the work week. For me, I bet it was for you as well. So we are gonna after this one we're gonna play one more league game and then we're gonna play the second leg of this one and then we'll call it tonight. Because in Sweden we have sort of daylight savings time, so we lose one hour. We have to change the time in the middle of the night and move the clock forward one hour. So it will be one less hour of sleep. Same in Norway, yep. Somewhat hid. Which means that my daughter's football practice, which is usually at 10 o'clock, will effectively be at 9 o'clock in the morning instead. Which makes puts a significant dent into my sleeping time. Bring back full forward. No, we have uh, we have spring forward. A 
exactly don't pump so much either hey hey so much either <laughs> but one new win hopefully that could be enough uh, fm llama there there is no difference between the two a's and the a with a circle over they are both pronounced or. And in Swedish, we don't have the double A, so we only have the letter or, which is the uh, the A with the circle above. The A with the little hat. Yeah, exactly. That's called or. So that's why it isn't your, your gardens, it's your Gordon. And it's not Valerenga, it's Bolerenga. So it isn't pronounced like it isn't pronounced like an A, and it isn't pronounced like an O either. It's pronounced somewhere in between an A and an O. So then it becomes an O. Like claw or 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 jaw. So learning is fun. Hashtag learning is fun. Uh, come to come to language class with come to Scandinavian language class with Mika and Don Pap, and leave with maybe more knowledge than you had before, but at least you are leaving with more fun. Because learning is fun, kids. Yeah, it's like all. Oh, Neil is spot on. That's an A. That's an A for you, Neil. That's an A on your test. I will tell your mom that you did good in class today. Welcome to speak good with Mika. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. You need. You are really picking up, Neil. So home game against Elspoir that we really desperately need to win. And then an away game against Celtic that we really desperately need to avoid losing. Uh, the Lama, the Swedes do not have the letter that is written like an A and an E merged together. The Swedes have the A with two dots. That's the same. And it's pronounced. It's pronounced the same as the uh, as the Danish A E. Uh, it's pronounced A, which is not an E. It's not, yeah, you get it. A like in fair, like in fair, fair or fairy. So that's the let letter A. The A with, with two dots in it. Yeah, just a simple American Bronx Bill, exactly. Learning all about the the quirkiness of the uh, the Nordic languages. So we have talked about O, and we have talked about A. But we have not talked about er. Uh. This is er. Uh. No, it is not an O. It's not an A, not an E. It's an er. Uh. It's not a, Yeah, exactly. Don't pap. That is the same one. <laughs> Your expertise extends to drugs, drugs, dogs, beer, freedom, and straight talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, FM Lama knew, of course he knew. He knew all about this. He is sort of the Stravinsky of Nordic well Nordic languages. So we we are forced to play our best players here today again, but we can rest Anderson and we can rest Krebi 
hopefully that won't bite us in the arse we will see we will see so here we go against 10th place tennis boy and i would very very much like a win here so that we are not completely stuck in the middle of the pack in the league because that would make for very boring episodes going forward if the season ends in uh, mid table mediocrity too early i know that you had two separate comments praising your swedish i know and you have had so much praise from me as well uh, i listen to your your swedish pronunciations of you gordon and broma poikana every morning after i've gone out of bed and i listen to them every night before i go to bed Penalty. Uh, wait, stop, 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 stop. Who's taking it? Who's taking it? Oh, crap. It's going to be a miss. Why didn't I change this? I have to blame myself. Oh, he scored. Wow. Uh, L in Lama is not pronounced like the Spanish way. No, it's pronounced like L. So apparently, Paulus Abraham can score from the from the spot kick. I was never in doubt either. Never in doubt. Okay, that cannot turn into something dangerous, can it? So they are just sending the ball away. It's like playing it's like playing a lower league Norwegian team, this. They pack the box and then they send the ball up. But they don't have a huge guy. They have a really, really small guy. Look at him. Look at him. Um he looks very tiny. Looks like a kid. Could be a child. Could be sort of a bring your child child to work day. <laughs> exactly, Lama. That is exactly how it's pronounced. So I just need to pause here. Just quickly look at their guy, Rasmus Alm. Okay, 174 centimeters. So he's not not big, but he's not he's not a dwarf either. I just had to know. So halfway through the first half, and we have been much better than them. Moving the ball around nicely. Come on. Kindal. Oh, Keflesos. Oh, lovely. Boop, 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 boop. 2 0 up. Find Tete on the head. Gets it down to Keflesos. Maybe it should be the other way around because this is my Empa. Keflesos, 195 centimeters. And now Don Pap is offering Norwegian, top notch Norwegian language advice. Isn't this lovely when we can all come together and help each other? And I've also uh, I've also noticed that Lama tactically tactically smart avoids saying certain names. And I haven't called you out in a comment, but maybe I will one of these days. Koffa. Keflesis. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should call him Keflesis. Okay, thank you. If we don't score ourselves, then they help us. Thank you very much.
I do three and up after 38 minutes and I think now we are going to take a couple of the better players off So let's see here, I'm happy, tactics wise, I'm going to get Tete, he is tired, we're going to get him off at half time, and we are going to move Halgen off, because Halgen is pivotal to what we do, and I'm going to be, I'm going to go out on a limb here, I'm going to make three subs at half time, I cannot possibly see how this could go wrong in any way. Yeah, imagine the day that FM Lama is commenting on Nordic football in our TVs. That's going to be brilliant. Can we do anything here, or is this going to be their highlight? They are just hoofing it away. You want salt to down? There we go, and into the box we go, and Kiflesus misses the goal, but still a nice, nice build-up play there. That is what we wanted to look like. Move the ball in, out again to the corridor, put pressure on them, move it in. Shit uh, which tier I started in the third tier of Swedish football. And in the sixth season, we are playing European football for the first time ever. Welcome to the stream. Where are you from, Shita? Do you play football manager? Do you have a say for yourself that's going on at the moment? So they claw one back. Oh. You play a lot, started tier 4 Netherlands. Oh, cool. How's it going? How far are you into the save? I actually do this save over on uh, on my YouTube channel as well. Put the link there in case you want to check it out. This is now first time Europe. Cool. And you've done well as well. So this is a, a youth academy challenge. So I'm basically only allowed to use players coming through my youth academy i'm also allow allowed to sign under 17 players but only from the stockholm area and i can bring back former academy players that have been sold uh, so that's basically the rules of this say so i cannot go signing like nigerian wonder kids or or, or good yeah, good players from anywhere Herkimasa boys, local giant school. Sounds very nice. First time cup final. Yeah, I've been in a cup final as well. Went went to help. So we are seventh in the league. League we would need to get up into those top three positions to be in Europe next season. But now we need to focus on the game that is up ahead, four days away. We are going to let them do recovery work and then rest for the rest of the day. And we are going to give all the starting players additional rest now. So that they come fresh into the, uh, into the Salty game. Okay, so reaching the final game of the stream, this is maybe the most important game we have played in this entire series so far. If we manage to draw or beat them, then we are in the Europa League Conference group stage. 
if we lose by a bigger margin than one then we are out and considering our league form i doubt that we will be in europe next season let's be beat celtic indeed let's beat celtic if we could get a similar game to the one we had in the first leg then i think we will do that but it's at celtic park and i think this is going to be a different story I have a feeling this is going to be a completely different story and after that we can basically rest everyone because then it's a qualifying game to the european to the swedish cup so you can run all those extra meters in this game because then you will get to relax all you beautiful men come on we need a bit of love we need a bit of support for the last game of the stream so let's see here what changes do we make? Kerevi comes in, of course, and I'm going to start Kalantashon. Any other changes I want to make? I don't think so. This is the team we want to go with. What about Isaac Holm? Isaac Holm is back. Isaac Holm goes into the team, and Ekron goes there. <laughs> So you want the Swedish Cup? Yeah, indeed. Let's see here. Oh, so you've got the team in the they had for the group. That shit. <laughs> okay, come on. Reverse half tactic. Well done, Don Pap. Well done. Okay, so come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Picornell picking berries from the ground. Come on. Ooh, that would, if we could score a goal, then they need to score three to go through. So a goal here. That's why I'm not going defensively at the moment. A goal for us would mean that they would need to score three. So let's just keep, keep putting pressure on them. This is making you want to finally get it. Javla yeah, save. They were meaning to do. Okay, so why Javla? Yeah, Do Swedish people pronounce Swedish words differently with flaky pronounce things differently to you? Yes, yes. We have accents uh, very much uh, from different parts of, of Sweden. We have we have different uh, different accents, just like in just like in England or, or UK in general. Yeah, Norway. I don't have. I would say that Norway is even is even worse when it comes to accents. Oh, that was scary. That was going in. That would have been very unfair, but very typically FM. They are sending the ball up. Why aren't we putting pressure on Dembele? This feels dangerous. Oh, what a save! What a save! Yeah, many different accents in the Netherlands as well. It's a nil nil. I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy. 
they understand that. But Darwin sounds all the same. Yeah, they do. They have a very structured way of speaking. The general has decided he has prohibited all kind of accents. Which is very Bodarian. Yeah. Yeah, don't but I don't mean I didn't mean worse in in a in a negative way. I, I like uh, cultural differences and accents as well. I meant worse as in uh, maybe bigger diversity between the the outlying uh, outlying dialects or accents. If you if you get what I mean. I mean, it's a huge difference from how people speak in the southern parts of Sweden and the uh, northernmost parts of Sweden. There's a huge difference. Yeah, I think you have bigger differences as well. We are going through. We are going through. Of course, it's Kerebi who steps up. Kerebi steps up. And I feel a tingling, tingling sensation inside my tummy and I don't think it's a heart attack. I think I'm just happy. This is huge indeed. Get him pumped, get him pumped indeed. Here we go again, Kerebi. He doesn't want to settle for one goal, he wants another one. Consort. Take. No, oh, offside. How? Disallow. How? Okay, I was going to say something filthy about Celtic, but now I, I, I take it back. I take it back. I didn't say anything. We are making triple subs. This is where you go four one four one and time waste. Yeah, I just move move guys in. There we go. But I'm not at least not playing the the Doctor Love heart tactic for the last couple of minutes. That one didn't work too well. But here Abraham comes. Almost gets us a corner. BP strike oil in Scotland. Great headlines, Bronx Bills. Great headlines indeed. And now they are desperate, which we take advantage of in a beautiful way. Not the best of finishes, though, I think. Kiflesis has a finish, you know, eight maybe. Uh, at least uh, Lama in, in Sweden that sentiment is, is exactly the truth the northern accent is much harsher and maybe you could say that in Norway as well Well, they do have the strange R's up there as well. Not the strange R's, the strange R's. A letter. A 1 0 win at home, away from home. A 1 0 win away from home. I'm happy, and we are in, we are in the very shitty third best. European Cups group stage. And do we get? Uh, oh wow! So 2.66 million. I didn't expect to get that sort of money from the from getting to the group stage. Thank you, thank you. 
So we have 5 million in the bank, 6 million transfer budget that we cannot do anything with. I think we could look at the shortlist of former BP Academy players and see who are actually interested in coming home. So John Guidetti, we were interested in him a couple of seasons ago, but now he is probably not good enough to come home. Swedish Twitch streamer criticizing Northern's mums. Exactly, Bronx Bill. So that would be that would be a headline. I want to know. Uh, yeah, didn't you see? I got I got facility upgrades. We have facility upgrades coming in. Where can I see that? I'm not sure. Okay, so now we are playing our games at Prince Arena instead, the 53,000 old seat capacity stadium. Uh, yeah, Icelandic is really weird. Weird. Wrong uh, spiel, sir. Vision, clear vision. Yeah, improve youth facilities. So that's happening. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's just click a couple of days forward to see if we can see the oh, group stage draw exactly. That was what I was going for. That is going to be the final thing we do tonight. Uh, and I really appreciate you coming on this journey with me. Uh, I had loads of fun tonight. It was very nice. And now we see uh, first seat. Okay, so, so now there are some decent teams in here. Uh, I think I'm like four or five upgrades away from state of the art. FM we might need a linguistics video, <laughs> not that. We might just keep keep discussing it here. So, first seeds are Napoli, Dinamo, Ren, Spartak, Moscow, Sevilla, Dinamo, Kiev, Braga, and Karabakh. And I know which club I want. I want Karabakh. Just because that's nearly impossible to say. I think I say it okay. But if there are any Azerbaijani uh, viewers in here, then you could probably correct me. Kharabakh is probably wrong. So let's draw these teams and see which group we want. We want group F. We do not want group A. And second seeds AEK Athens, Olympia Kos, two Greek giants that Feyenoord. Aberdeen, FC Copenhagen, Rules and Bonia, Buda Glimda, or Fehervar from Hungary. Let's see. Buda Glimda, Aberdeen, Olympia Cross, FC Copenhagen, Rules and Bonia. Put Fehervar in here, and then I know exactly which group I want. So fine order oh, that makes that one a bit tougher. So Fehavar there. And now I don't know which group I want. I don't want. I don't know what I don't want. And third seeds, let's see. Riga, Hajduk, Selje, Sheriff Tiraspol, Solidorsk, Apwell, Sofia and Krasnodar. Okay, now I don't want the Dynamo group. So I, I, most of them look look okay, don't they? I don't want D. I, I don't want C. I don't want D. I don't want E. I don't want F. <laughs> A, A, B. I don't want G. Okay, A, B, H, D, uh, yeah, okay, maybe D, or like Moscow felt good, just, yeah, A, B, or H, none of them want us, no, that's probably true, so in the fourth, oh, so we have three Swedish teams to make it into the group stage, I think that will be good for our, our coefficients, um, I think they'd rather want the Finnish team or the Slovakia team, So let's see here. The 
Finnish team end up in Group A. So let's just pray that we end up in Group B. No. Group C. No. Oh, Gerettian is agent are watching this draw. They sure are. And all the Swedish teams are left. So now Group D is starting to look very tasty. Give us D. Okay. Let the boy get D. Oh, okay. E, what for us? <laughs> not us. We did not get Group D. We are not the Ifkata boy. Okay, so Group G or Group H. We didn't get E either. We get H. We are in group H with Fervar, Dynamo and Krasnodar. Tough but not impossible I think. We will see. Let's look at what the schedule looks like now going forward. So the games are kind of spaced out and then a couple of games are when our league season has actually finished. So the congestion won't be too bad. That will be the end of tonight's stream. I really appreciate you coming on. I will put a VOD of this uh, up tomorrow, I think. And then I will do a, an episode on YouTube covering the first Euro group stage game on Monday. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely Sunday. Thanks for hanging out. I will speak to all of you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.